I actually was going to write a book on this fucking shit at one point until it all got deleted off the internet forever and now I can't do it, anything with it. Which one was the book? It was going to be a book called Ass Kicking Athletes of Antiquity. There was a lot that I covered that I can't remember off the top of my head. A few that I do is uh, Milo of Croton. He was a wrestler, I think he was about seven foot tall, and he trained by carrying a baby cow every day until he was a teenager. And by the time he was a teenager, that baby cow was a fully grown adult bull. To celebrate like being able to carry a fully grown adult bull, he suplexed it, broke its neck and ate it whole. That's, oh. that's what the legend says. Oh. That's what the legend says. Um, he died as well in the most... Like, he didn't eat it whole, but he ate the entire thing in one sitting. That's, that's more what I was thinking. According to the legend, he died trying to split a tree in half, like Captain America. He tried to split the stump in half with his bare hands. While that was happening, a pack of wolves came out and ate him. That's what on Milo of Croton. Um, there's Theoganus, who was an ancient Olympic sprinter, boxer, and just all-round athlete. Um, won 1,400 events in his lifetime, I believe, which accounts for like one a week. Um, one of his most most successful athletes just of all time. Um, but I think one of my favourites is this motherfucker called Polydamus. We don't know very much about him other than the fact he was this giant man mountain who was so determined to reenact the feats of Hercules that he went into the uh, mountains and just beat up a lion. Because he heard, obviously, someone says, well, he looks, he's so big and buff, and I was like, oh, he's got the body of Hercules, and I don't deserve that title. It's like I can do the feats that Hercules has. Hercules defeated the Nemean lion. I will defeat a lion. So he just went into the mountains, found a lion, and beat it to death. And then carried it pelt down to the bottom of the mountain, went, well, I'm, I'm Hercules. <laughs> now to find a hydra. <laughs> He also, as well, apparently, according to legend, stopped a chariot running at full pace by just holding it with his arms. And once, what was the other thing he did now? He caught a bull. Um, that was it, yeah, he caught a bull by its hind hoof. And obviously, the bull's trying to kick him away and just held onto it. And the bull kicked so hard, its hoof fell off. And he held onto the hoof and said, I am stronger than this bull. So, which probably explains why the horse carriage stopped, because they were trying to protect their soft, sensitive little hoofs from this giant man mountain and was like, Row! I don't I don't remember all of it off the top of my head. Like I said, this is years old knowledge. But... Spent ages remaking all these, like this shit. You, you, any of these people make an awesome film. Oh yeah, they would. But yeah, that was what the book was going to be about. It's exploring the history of all these guys and talking about their life stories and the legends that's wrong about. But it's all just fucking got flushed down the toilet. So if anyone would like to see that book, uh, and people show interest in it, I might start researching it again. But at the time, I don't really have much time to do it. But I would love to go back and re-research all those really old athletes who did all this crazy bullshit. Because someone's like, my love Croton, he died trying to rip a tree, stump in half, and wolves ate him. <laughs> what a hero. I think Polydamus, he died because he was in a mountain, in a cave, and the cave started collapsing. He went, you guys run, I'm going to work my shoulders. And he died trying to hold the entire cave up. So he died like the Hulk did on that one comic where he lifts up an entire mountain and the mountain just collapsed in on him because he saw it and went, this is a good fucking effort to get some... I'm going to... like, you guys go, I'm going to get a fucking pump on and just start lifting the entire mountain and just die. What a hero. I'd love to write a book about this shit, but fortunately I don't have time because I've got to do these things instead.